Hello, and welcome to Date Night. <laughs> I'm Chorps Away. And I'm TV's Vacuum. And you they can't stop are him. the stars. They can't stop this mind, this genius mind. What's up? What's what's up today? <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that you included that it's sugar-free because we are both diet soda freaks. This is a safe space for diet soda freaks well, also, uh, who no drink additives. anything. No additives in the in the visual novel juice. Right, of course. We would never. Walkmeyer says the circle near Chorps' head should be replaced with a crosshair. No, that, <laughs> unfortunately, that's like a that's like, that's a that's a birthmark I've been given. So I don't want to I don't want to dox myself by showing everyone. <laughs> It'll slowly turn into a crosshair over the course of your life until the day, until the exact date and time of your death. Right. That's how you'll know. That was the curse the witch gave you. Yeah. Anyway, before the stream, we were just talking about Weird Soda Update, uh, which is apparently they're going to make an Oreo flavored Coke and a Coke flavored Oreo. Right. Because they're best friends, much like us. Between between the two of us, which one of us is the Coke Zero and which one of us is the Oreo? People are always asking this. <laughs> For thousands, since time immemorial, people have been asking. Anyway, it's, I can't wait to drink it. I'm I'm so excited to drink it. Um, much like Coconut Dr. Pepper, um, am I excited to drink it because I think it's going to be good? No. That's not why I'm here, okay? That's not why I am a diet soda drinker. I am a diet soda drinker to harm my body with chemicals. <laughs> right. It's because chemicals taste good. Um, yeah. So I'm right now, they stopped selling zero sugar coconut Dr. Pepper. This is real. This is a real, this is real. This, this is, is happening in my real life right now. They stopped it. And so I bought Dr. Pepper zero sugar and coconut coffee creamer. And I'm drinking right now in the glass in front of me. Sip, sip. I have my homemade Mormon style <laughs> dirty Dr. Pepper <laughs> because the Dr. Pepper Corporation has has denied my location, creamy coconut Dr. Pepper zero sugar into the fall season as if we don't want coconut in the fall because it's not a fall flavor. Yeah. So if you don't want slander on this stream, uh, Dr. Pepper, we're free for... Um... We're free for shilling. We'll sell out immediately. Absolutely. Send me a lifetime supply of that questionable drink. <laughs> yeah, you say the word. I'll fucking plaster a, I'll plaster a sponsor by Dr. Pepper on all of my cartoons. That's literally the dream. Once yeah. again, our one, our one sponsor, the sponsor will always be chasing. What if Dr. Pepper ever like, like reached out to you and like sent you like one free t-shirt. I would consider that a victory. I would yeah. say that we we can die happy now, finally, that having achieved our life's goal. Yeah. Well, Akamasi posted a, a beautiful poem um, in the chat. Well, because this Fefnir uh, said, you know me, the diet soda freak knuckles, and we're at Freakin' oh. Hill. So we got, <laughs> yeah. the, we got the opening bars. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna drink all my diet soda because I stay sugar free. It's <laughs> so good. Once again, the chat is funnier than us. That's what that's what's happening. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we're we're we're, um, we're leaving the stream. We're gonna leave it to you guys. Yeah, we're gonna finally reduce it to just point rewards that play yeah. jo pre-recorded joke lines and just and it like you you control. It's a sort of a Twitch plays right Twitch plays sort of a situation. But to make sure people stay around, I'm gonna put like a. Uh, like a like a poorly cut out PNG of a VTuber in the corner. Right, and that's how we'll live forever. We'll just keep the stream going. Right. Did you know Pokemon plays, like, Twitch plays, Pokemon, the Pokemon players, they're still going? Really? Yes. No, wow. Was, uh, I think they made it through all of the games, and then they just started doing, like, um, basically, um, uh, like, Salty Bet, but with, like, the Pokemon Stadium games. Oh. Oh, I liked Salty Bet. I thought uh, that was fun. Is that gone? They still do Salty Bet, right? I think I think they that something like that still exists. I don't know okay. if it's exactly Salty Bet. Let me look. And like um 
And I think that at this point, they've looped back around. They're just playing the originals again, normal style. Oh my god! Salty Bed is live right now. Don't go over there. Because well, I think Salty um, Bed never but... goes offline, so. No, it's it's still going. Yeah, 24-7 Mookin. Wow, it's still there! It's still there. Wow. Speaking of still fun. there, you know who else is still there? Is Vilio. Oh yeah, now we're getting into it, baby. Final playthrough of Radiant Tail. Last time sure. we started the we started the the story anew. We got a new prologue about Vilio. He is in fact some kind of god being. <laughs> now that he's involved with everything, he's like solving everybody's problems and route. Right. Like not to not to get too like not to get like too uh lost in the sauce over this, but like he's sort of sent down from heaven to like look upon the people and understand their plights so that when he has to sacrifice himself for them, right, it's all the more poignant. Wow, so true. Right, like that's kind of what's happening. He's sent like he already knows that he is gonna have to put his life on the line to stop the plague of fiends yeah from his isolated island and he goes to the world to understand who he's helping yeah and part and of that I... is we're gonna have to kill balto sid's right in the chat <laughs> right of course we're, right, we're gonna have to as we've been him. saying we're gonna have to kill balto because he's clearly gonna get in the way because he we know on on zephora's route he eats 10 or 12 fiends yeah It's going to um, be good. But yeah, so last uh, time we started the route, and it's kind of the same, but it's a little bit different in just that, like, Vilio is taking a much more active role in everyone's life. And he's figuring everything out in a way that finally feels appropriate for the level of power that he possesses. Yeah, like, he walks in on the... Like, he gets added to the scene where we find out Roddy can turn into a man. And, like, talks to Roddy about it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and he know. senses like Roddy's true nature, yeah. which makes sense. He's yeah, he's talking to yeah, because he just talks to Roddy about it. He's talking to Tefalia a lot more because it's like Tefalia is kind of teaching him what it's like to be human and like to integrate into society, what normal <laughs> is, right? Like because that's that's <laughs> the point. Keep... Is like he keeps running into shit that's like really weird. Like the scientist is like, is that normal? And we have to keep going, no. No, it's not normal. She keeps looking for an example of normal to show him and keeps not being able to find right, it. Right, because it's not anyone in the circus. It's not anyone they've been meeting. But Vilio's taking it really well. Like, he's really like, oh, you know, he's like, he's not ever, he doesn't ever uh, back off on his beliefs and his sense yeah. of right and wrong, even when he is trying to be normal. Like, Firo's like normal coded. Yeah, but Fear, I mean, Firo's a baby child, so... I think that's it. No, I was just trying to go through all the characters we know that have yeah. names. Yeah, there's not much that it. he could teach Vilio about being normal, probably. Right, that's again, I'm he just himself trying to think is through all the learning. characters we know. Um, yeah. So yeah, no one, else, no one else by name that we know, I think, is normal enough to teach him anything. No. Because no one is normal enough to teach um, Cole of us anything, either. Yeah. But we finished up in we finished up in uh, Kalida. Yes, and, and it's, oh yeah, it's time to go to Labyrinth Orient. City. Oh no, it is Labyrinth City first. Yeah, it's Cultura time. It's Cultura. Yeah, let's do it. Also, I, I think Jinnia knows what normal is, but does not act. It. Does not engage in normal. Yeah. Yeah. Why would he? Right. All right. Shall we? All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, let's also go. all the introductions to everywhere are being done by Vilio now. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It gives you, like, a little reminder of the route you've already played without having to do the same thing again. Yeah, they've also, yeah, they've been kind of skimming through the main plot. Just kind of summarizing bits that don't involve the Vilio part of the story. We get this banger track once again. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. 
Imagine you had to live in like MC Escherville. I'd hate it. But I feel like it's gotta feel like, you know, living downtown in a big city, but just about every single aspect of your life all the time. Like you can't even, you can't, it doesn't even make sense to walk anywhere. Yeah, I would, if I had to live in any artist's depiction of a world, it would be Richard Scary's Scary Town. So true! Oh, right, yes, and then we have the lunatic riots going on yeah, here, we, because... We have the... <laughs> right, okay, so, right, because Balto <laughs> is using drugs to suppress the people. So he forced them into a lockdown yeah. by using drugs to make people go crazy, basically. Um, and now if anyone goes against him, he also drugs them so he can arrest them and push people further into isolation. Justin, basically, he's just trying to create a, a world where people only work. And I wonder why all this negative energy is coming out of the town. And see, Vilio says he has to do something about it, which means he's going to kill Balto. Yeah, let's go. Kill him right now. Kill him yeah. in this chapter. Here's okay. So here's the real. So if we don't let's let's say that the show wasn't going to work out right. Like he banned us doing a show. Mm -hmm. Um, there are two things that we could teach Cultura that I think would be like a like a a, a silent protest, right? That he couldn't drug you, right? Because he'd have to come mm -hmm. into your house and and just show that he's drugging you, which would give up give up the ghost immediately. One quiet quitting. <laughs> Two, hip bra. Which, for the use that don't know, is hiding in the bathroom at work. Right, of course. Which you can still do when you're working from home. Yeah. Well, because he knocks, because whole... he knocks in, and he does a census on like, I don't know how many necklaces have you made today, and you're just too busy uh, shitting. Yeah. So, <laughs> a whole t a whole city quiet quitting together. Yeah. I don't know, some of her stuff that's, got stolen. That's what the that's what that um celebrity imagine was about. <laughs> ah yes, I remember this. Yeah, because I think uh what is it? No, um, that's just in Zephora's route, right? Because in, um, Eon's route, he, like, he's, like, kicking a fiend or something, right? Mm, oh, yeah. So this is specifically what happens is the Zephora version. I'm guessing that these versions are probably related to the character that is attached to them, right? Mm -hmm. Like, again, you're trying to follow a version of everyone's route. <laughs> That's the drugs, don't worry, man. Well, this is why we gotta get everyone one of the glass water glass phones so they can just remote into the show oh yeah just just handing out punch yeah. bowls to just everybody live stream it. yeah yeah the whole family gathers around <laughs> a big bucket of water in the living room yeah, i was gonna say the equivalent yeah a big bucket of water and the equivalent of like a tv dinner mm -hmm. oh, It says a live literal stream. <laughs> Very true. I found it odd because he was thinking hard, but <laughs> I read that as an appalling <laughs> voice <laughs> came out, and I was like, "That's very mean." <laughs> but no. But true. Wo, Zafora ga, chodo ii toko ni. Na na, Zafora te kono Kurutora shushin nan da yo na. 
クルトラ周辺ってさ、もともとどのくらいの頻度で魔物が現れてるか,か。He's doing his own 魔物 He's got other stuff he's focusing on. そんなことを聞いて何の頼む、教えてくれ。俺が知る限りでは他の町とさして変わらない周辺の森での目撃例はあるが町で魔物被害があったって話も聞いたことないしなそっか It's so weird also that Balta was smuggling fiends into the city specifically to continue suppressing people and then they legioned him Yeah That was really something I wonder if that's gonna happen again I'm glad we shot him I don't know. Are we going to catch him early? Because the other time he died, we caught him early. Yeah, true. He had just bought something off the black market and then he got fucking killed、hmm. for it. <laughs> yeah, and humans really are stupid. ただ単にザフォラが今のクルトラを知らないだけだ。だえおああありあり、ぼーっとしてた。すてんけん、バッスタフィーネ。しんぱいごとっつうか。うーん、なんていうのかな。I'm assuming that really this route is just like. We notice Vilio acting like this more because I feel like he's always been like、yeah. this. But it's just like now、yeah. we are actually like asking the question, like, what's up, dude? Dude. I realize we don't have intermissions either. Oh, yeah. Because they're abbreviating、yeah. the chapters. Oh, yeah. 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 Do not follow the demons. Like, okay. I wonder why he can't just say, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sensing that there are fiends here. Why does he have to be coy about it and, like, lead everyone else to figure it out on their own? I don't know, because it's also like, I guess he can't tell people about his mission, probably because, like, telling them, like, hey, a really bad thing's going to happen soon is probably not going to help anyone do anything. I guess, I guess at least like someone like Sephora would be like, wait a minute, you can sense fiends? Like,、right. why? What, are you, what does that mean? Like, oh, they like, look like for fiends you, to you. What does that mean about your role? Yeah. <laughs> and,、um, and probably they would, yeah, they would ask him more about his mission or his role or something that he. Yeah, can't but I think he can't、about. talk about that. He's like, oh, humans can't sense them. But, like, what about Roddy? I don't know. We don't, I don't know. Roddy never, like, really talks about fiends. He doesn't, it's not a part of his story. But, like, the bigger thing is, is, it seems like it's not just that, like, Zephora can't sense them, but Zephora can't sense the difference in fiend activity from when he was a child to now. Mm hmm. Which is really what the question was. It was like, hey, have you noticed that it got worse?、Mm. But I feel like in Sephora's route, he did notice, so maybe yeah, he's also not being straightforward. No, no. He really said that there's never been a more wretched hive of scum in Vilny. 
<笑>なら悪いことは言わないからさ女一人で出歩くのはやめときなここのところ町が物騒でねついおとといもそこの角で突然男が刃物を振り回して暴れてたしさ。Uh, he was practicing tricks. Leave him alone. <笑>さてね、とにかく忠告はしたんだ。用が済んだらさっさと帰んな。ダン Oh, what happened to Oh. Hmm. Ah, so do you. Oh, right. They're getting bigger. Imagine if, like, your job sucked because they kept making, like, bad administrative decisions and then demons started showing up as a result. Right. I would hate that. Yeah. That would, that would make it a lot tougher. <laughs> I feel like it would make people feel a lot more guilty. It would make them like sort of blame themselves for feeling bad because there was like a physical danger that came from feeling right. bad. This is basically the situation where like suddenly your job, instead of being like security, is killing 30 to 50 feral hogs. <laughs> Oh, you were also listening? Yeah, fucked, huh? For some reason, my friend acting weird bothered me. Remember to follow you. What, what he said, you gotta run. Oh, this is that. When they get, when they get blown out of, uh, by the tornado. Oh, this is where they the end up, CG, yeah. The CG, where they land, yeah, in the forest outside ah! the tornado. Oh, that's, that's, uh -oh. Really, uh, that's my guy. Yeah. He's got an echo filter on. Watch out. Uh-oh, he's far away from the mic. Get closer to the mic, Vilio. Oh. Oh shit. CG, oh. CG, 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 yeah. 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 Fucking get him. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the more brutal. Even though it's like very cartoony and kind of pulled away, this is yeah. one of the more like. His posture is so demure in this. Yeah. It's like we can't show him actively fighting anything. He's just kind of like He's biting eating. a corpse of a fiend. He's hungry. Does he eat them? Maybe. Oh, there's a lot of them. I mean, why wouldn't he fight as a dragon? That makes the most sense. Like. Why fight as a guy when you could yeah. fight as a dragon? I think he only fought as a guy when he's fighting other guys, right? Because that's not fair. Mm-hmm. But fiends. Yeah! <gasps> oh, he eats them! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh! What did they mean by this?
the fact that the the dragon's face makes him look like such a fucking gotcha dragon. He looks he looks so puzzle and dragons right now. A little bit. And it's it just it kills me every time. <laughs> give the give my boy some some big nostrils, please. Uh -oh. Give him a longer snoot. Ooh, powered up fiend. Whoa! Whoa! Kill him. I wonder if it's less like Hell he yeah. needs to eat them or and more like he does it so that they don't regenerate, right? So, yeah, I know. I wonder if he's like, uh, if that's bad, actually. Yeah. And they got those, they got those cores. They talk about having those cores. Yeah. Not shocking what the answer is here. This is true of all hunter-gatherers. <laughs> Ifalia. He's an apex predator. <laughs> I love that that's the point you get. Is Ifalia goes, oh my god. It was to protect me. <laughs> He's killing fiends. Like, what do you... I don't know. I, this is... We're still early on in the story. The like, I feel is, like she... I can imagine it is scary if, like, say... Yeah. Your friend was, like... Uh, you know, let's say your friend was like a werewolf, right? If you saw the, your friend turn into a werewolf and just like mm -hmm. brutally attack anything, you'd be like, oh, what the fuck, right? Yeah, for sure. You're always like, oh, don't worry, I've um, I'm almost done. I'll get the I'll get the check soon. <laughs> Whoa! Yo! Oh, his hair turned black because he ate all the. Because he, he ate them! <gasps> oh my god. 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 Oh my He's a little too Leon right now for my taste. <laughs> wow! Oh, so true. Oh, interesting. I guess that makes sense. I hadn't thought about that, though. Yeah. Oh, but I do just, just, Filio can have a little depression as a treat. <laughs> yeah, he'll shit it out, so. Imagine His serotonin having... pro producers are just yeah, imagine so being, powerful. Being able to just, like, I don't know, like, piss your depression away. The dream. Not even, I guess not even his depression. Other, other people's yeah. depression. Yeah, he's absorbing it on others' behalf. Yeah. What'd you do that for? Uh, to kill them? Is fucking throwing flash grenades into groups of groups of fiends to make them scatter. Oh, uh, like they disintegrate them, but they reform. I think is because they because we definitely like kill them. Yeah. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So that's what they mean. It's like they kill them, but they're not like killing them. Yeah. Boya says, does this count as emotional labor? Yes. <laughs> Look, Vilio, are you ready to defeat a fiend that could potentially trigger you? Oh my god. Wow. So you, we gotta eat all of them. Yeah. Well, no, this is what's gonna kill him, obviously. Damn, so true. Eating the when just using the word eat is just the very funny to me. <gasps> Purify them. Fiend purification. The arch dragon is the only one who can do it. 
Wow. So that's his sacrifice. His sacrifice is that he literally has to eat every fiend. <laughs> every bad emotion, he has to eat it. Yeah. He has to get 100% completion. <laughs> he has to get up what to all the watchtowers to find all the fiends. <laughs> what a fascinating turn of events. That that the way that this works is he has to eat them. What a what an interesting metaphor. I I'm dying to see where they go with this. It's gonna be just like um, excuse me, like Cafe Enchanté, but epic. Yappa, kawaii na. No, you're badass, dude. Don't worry. I know that this isn't a comparison, but it's just like imagining him feeling the same way about like, I don't know, like eating seafood, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, it's freakish for someone to eat fish. I think this is more like people who like like stuff like like really really spicy food like food oh, that yeah, harms yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, it must freak, uh, seem freakish to eat all of the like hot pepper wings challenge items across the country. Yeah. He gets to the one that's got, like, the active pepper spray, spray ingredients in it, and he's like, Oh man, this is worse than eating a fiend! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> he breathes fire and feels better. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, like, do you think that he can get heartburn, or do you think that just converts into more magic? Yeah, I think I think he can't because uh, because he's able to generate fire, and I yeah. feel like those processes are related. Probably. <laughs> You're always encouraging me, Vilio. Oh no, it's just because I don't think before I speak. <laughs> oh, I love him. Of course, the reason why he's able to be so reassuring is that he is this sort of god being. Yeah. And it's literally his job. Oh, so true! The folly is just like us, for real. <laughs> so it says, Vilio has to kill anywhere between five and seven billion demons. <laughs> you have to quantify. Shut up. It also says, buddy, sometimes you gotta admit that you're Gambate pilled and Ikima show maxing. I'm Data by YOLO pilled. <laughs> Me? Me? But I'm just a god being. <laughs> He's got that positive attitude. But again, he's probably feeling the effects of the negative energy. That's why he's down mm, on himself, right? Geez. Yeah. Like he's not I'm feeling it because... This has to be how it works, right? He absorbs the negative energy, but because he has to follow you to cheer him up, yeah. that is the extra power he needs to survive. Yeah. Oh, also, I guess probably pe people treat him weird and don't actually like treat him like a person because he's yeah. a god being. <laughs> This is also, like, I think that it's coming out more because of the negative energy, but I think it's also true that no one's ever said anything nice about him. Yeah. Like this. They call people like us super tasters. Well, we know what that was very clearly Master Dragon. <laughs> yeah, wait, let's, let me get that again. I thought I heard something else. Let's... Yeah, Master Dragon. 
Not from when he said bastard dragon. <laughs> if only. Well, the nice thing is that on the continent, no one has any frame of reference. Yeah. You might as well just be a dragon to everyone. Yeah, all dragons are equally scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, did we read the arch dragon definition? I think I got too caught up. Let's go. No, we can we can look at it. Yep, the dictionary. A for arch dragon. It is. He was raised different. He's just he was built different. So true. Uh, he was a gifted kid. <laughs> That's why Definitely. he's actually going through this. Yeah, exactly. This is burnout. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is quiet quitting. This is... <laughs> oh my god, he's ready to quiet quitting. Quit from being the arch dragon. This is a good scene, by the way, even though we're being silly. This yeah, I cute. think this is a good development of their relationship in a way that's like... It's not, like, too quick on anything, but clearly it's, like, important, you know? Like, it's not like, oh, they're, like, dating already. But it's like, oh, they're making, like, an important connection <laughs> over something going on. Yeah, yeah it's literally, like, I couldn't tell. Now I suppose never to do a dragon and an arch dragon. That's right. <laughs> He's the most reliable boy. Alright, uh, impromptu, let's rate the boys as we know them on reliability. Number one, Vilio. Number two, Eon. Or yeah, Eon. Then Sorry. Zephora. Then Roddy. Then Pascalia. <laughs> Pascalia's reliable for other things. I'm I'm between I, I think that oh that's right, but I think you could make an argument that Roddy and, Z and Zephora get swapped. Because Zephora is not reliable when it comes to emotional stuff. Right. I think Roddy is more reliable on average. That's true. Prior to his sort of mental breakdown, he was right. very and reliable. Can, and I don't think we can. I think we. I don't think we can judge him. On yeah. That. Mm hmm. Yeah, just take it easy, dude. You're not getting a raise, so. Boya says, you can count on Pascalia being uh, reliable when it matters. That's true. If I were ever uh, sentenced to the bottom of the sea, <laughs> you I do can't know. count on Pascalia being reliable when it matters. Oh, you can't. That's Only true. when it doesn't matter. Right, that's true. Is Pascalia reliable? Or when I'm stuck at the bottom of the ocean. Right. Yes, we know this one. I guess this is also yeah. interesting because it does confirm that all of the things that happen separately when you go with the different boys is happening on the other routes. It's just whether or not you're there mm. to experience it. Mm -hmm. Which is always one of those things. It's like, oh, it's interesting to know how much like happens without you there. Oh, I hate that guy. Hmm. Ingredients mention. Ugh, love ingredients. Yum. The ingredients they needed were <laughs> Coke Zero and coconut creamer. <laughs> and Oreos. What a what an awful could not imagine an Oreo drink being anything more than, like, swill. 
I need a date. I'm looking for a date. Like like beginning September 9th, 2024. Just in time. Oh my god, that means I can... That's pre-made boat juice. That means I can buy two of them to celebrate my favorite national holiday. <laughs> wow, this smells great. Did you use herbs Ooh, when oh, cooking? Oh, right. The, all the Kultura herbs, because they have more of they have more smells here. I just I think it's really funny that they're like, oh, you seasoned the food. <laughs> Positively wonderful. Did you use ingredients in this recipe? Wow. This is eggs, but they come in a shell. Wow. Adds a little extra crunch. I love, I love the culture is the place with spices. <laughs> It says I call it cream of ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> New custom display name. Okay, this one's just this one's fair. This is just an herb salad. Herb yeah. salad? Hell yeah. Yum. He's like, oh, I couldn't eat another I'm bite. He's got, a, <laughs> he's got a fiend shaped belly. ビリオ I think I saw this. Is okay. he full or do, or is he feeling too sick to eat because of the fiend? Oh, so we oh, so we're lying. We're setting oh, up a we're, lie we're for him. An al yeah, we're giving him an alibi. Okay. Right, like, oh, did you eat earlier? And that's true, he did eat a lot. Oh, also maybe his stomach is just bad. He's he's a brave tummy hurt warrior. He really is. Look, <laughs> never mind. I'm not gonna finish that. No. <laughs> oh, he's eating Look, Another excellent display name. <laughs> Adult male tummy. <laughs> it catch on quick, my man. So you got to Okay, Zephora. Mm -hmm. Zephora does not know the pain of an adult male tummy ache. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Damn, got him. Got his ass. Oh, he get his ass, get his ass. Also, mm -hmm. separate him. No! <laughs> そうか。うん。悪い。助かった。理的に胃袋いっぱいってわけじゃないんだけどな。完全に浄化しきるまではしばらく食欲も湧かねえんだ。That's fucked up. Go Really? 
Just a big... <laughs> yeah, purified. It, yeah, that's they, that's why dragon farts don't stink. Oh. There's a little lore for you. Put that in the history books. <laughs> and who has to deal with it? Pascalia. He has to deal with the dragon farts all night. Yeah. Again, they're not... They're, they're um they're the opposite of silent but deadly. <laughs> ah. Loud and benign, just yeah, like us. <laughs> That's what all people are always saying about us. <laughs> so true. So it says he's defragmenting his disc. I was going to call it when I go to the bathroom at work now. <laughs> Damn though, the other side of him. What a what a strange turn of events. What a strange metabolism. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah, for some reason. Do you think we're gonna have to have a real audience with Walter, or do you think they're kind of? Um, it depends if Vilio's gonna sense anything. Kill him. There he is. Okay, they're kind of zooming. Hate when the crimes are running rampant. Hmm. All the crimes. I really like the interior design of the Kultura Palace, except for the green candy cane columns. Well, that part was, um, uh, Balto's idea. Oh, yeah, you think so? Yeah. He couldn't decide on a color. Yeah, it's green because he's the freaking Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the Illumination Studios one. Oh. Uh... This is normal, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, wow, they really zoomed through that. Well, that's fair. He doesn't have anything to say. Alright, Maracus is the thing that they turned into the drug. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, don't say his name. Zafora? Well, Jinnia knows everything, and Jinnia is saying it, so... Yeah. Jinnia is making him say it, though. I like when Jinnia is on screen with another, like, high-ranking adult, and we get to see how much taller Jinnia is than right. them. I think that's very how funny. how much he stands out, yeah. Yeah, like how much he, like he, I, I always forget this because of his personality, but like he's tall enough that I feel like he could fight Balto. That's really good. I want to see that happen. Agreed. Well, when they do the um, when they do the war arc and they bring Balto back from the dead after they kill him, we'll get the fight. Hmm. Oh, that's a four. Yep. Everyone's being mean to him. <laughs> the prince that everyone blamed everything on. Yeah. But of course, well, Balto was like, not uh, his fault. It's his fault somehow. He got he got Hamleted, a classic Hamlet scenario. Not his fault. Quick, turn to a dragon, eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I was joking last week where I was like, I hope that Vilio turns into a dragon and chomps Balto, but now I think it could happen. Yeah. yeah. This isn't what happened, though. He was forced out. Sorry, man. Easy. 
こいつは迷宮森の正当後継者だったんだこいつは3年前に後継者としての立場を放棄してクルトラから逃げ出したんだそのショックで先代の迷宮森だった父親と母親は自殺して今はこいつの王子バルト様が迷宮森に逃げ出した yeah, he's That guy sucks ass. Someone should poison him or something. I don't know. I mean, if we, if we go to the city, we'll be able to get around the I mean, if we. Okay, so poisoning him probably gets around the protection of the, of the spirit, right? I don't know.、Artifact. Can you just like, eat whatever he wants and not get a tummy ache? No, because the idea is that it stops him from getting like,、uh, something from being like, stabbed, right? Only, only like physical damage. Yeah, my guess is it's only physical damage. Not status effects. So you could poison him, probably. And that would give us a third new way for him to die. なあザフラ今の話は本当かあんたがめ俺の過去なんて関係ないだろはいディーボイスジェニーは着るプラットフォームを使って説明するとは言うと思うがバルトは確かに着るプラットフォームを着るプラットフォームを着るプラットフォームを着るプラットフォームを着るプラットフォームを着るプラットフォームを着るプ Like, it's not、mm. noticeable, but he's got like the extra inch off of it. Right, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what those are called, but you know what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Those, I think they're just called lifts. Okay. And he's also got slight lifts on the bottom of his shoes as well. So, like, it's not super noticeable that his soles are much bigger, right?、Mm -hmm. But. Mm hmm. ザファラジャー。まあ、とりあえずなんか飲もうぜ。冷たいもんなら、頭すっきりするだろう。うん。うん。のまねだ。辛く。違う違う。この機会に、少し話したいことがあってさ。この前。クルトラの周辺に魔物が出るかって言ってそれがどうしたのあの後俺は気になりすぎたりしていろいろと調べてみたんだけどさやっぱクルトラ周辺の魔物はここ最近急に増えてきたらしいイオンも地下迷宮で魔物を見かけたって言ってただろう。They do. They do call it that. Thank you. <laughs> It's delicious. <laughs> Too many dark emotions. They're all becoming dark empaths. That's the most dangerous society of all.、Mm. <laughs> Could you imagine if, if Dark Empaths were feeling other Dark Empaths' emotion? Oh my god. It's just in a negative feedback loop forever. Right. That's the danger of being a Dark Empath. Yeah, that would be the real lunatic riots right there. Yeah. That's why,、um, that's why Balto is able to rule with such an iron grip. He has a Dark Triad personality. 
実際街の人に話を聞いてみてもみんな現状に不満を抱いてるそこまで分かってるのにどうして誰も現状を変えようとしてねえんだ簡単に言ってくれるな Why doesn't everyone simply kill Balta? このクルトラは迷宮モニが民を導きみんながそれに従って調和を保ってきた yeah, that guy. 今まではそれでうまくいってたんだいきなり帰ろって言われたってそんな簡単にはいかないだから間違ってても従うのか俺はそれが理解できねえ Many people are saying this. Not to get political <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. You're telling the forest stuff he already knows. So, what do you mean? Because it's a labyrinth. You have to take a bull by the way. Oh, so true. Tokage. 人間ってのはお前が思うより迷宮森に疑問を抱いたからって一人で声を上げて逆らう勇気なんてほとんど自分一人ならまだいいだが家族や親しい人間まで巻き込むわけにはいかないからなほとんどのやつねそう今ので納得いったぜ。俺だったら真っ先に文句をつけに行くとこだけどさ。自分に力がないって分かってるから、無駄に一人で騒いだりしない。一人じゃ何もできなくても、仲間と一緒に機会を待って大しない。Billy is saying this because you just saw Le Miz. そういう強さもある。That's part of um t o f a l i a s training about being normal. Mmm. Of course. And I mean, they're all theater kids. They've all seen it. Right. Why wouldn't they have? I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing. No way, dude. Chill your pill. The city of the city is a good thing. Unlike other cultures who hate that, <laughs> they hate friends. <laughs> well, Ferris. You know. Well, I don't know if you'd call any of those people friends, though. Yeah. I guess that's, that's its own interpretation, right? They hate friends and that they hate having friends. They don't have any, yeah. Right. If they had friends, maybe they wouldn't fight so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, Danny downed it all at once. So, Nakoto. Orega Ichiban Yoku, a cut there in there. Ah, Stereo Zavara. See into his true heart. Hmm. <laughs> That's true of anyone. <laughs> All right, speaking of bad moves, I have to use the restroom real quick. All right. Go enjoy your purification ritual. How do you guys think Balto's gonna die? I still hope he gets eaten by a dragon. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, he would have to turn into a fiend and then get eaten. And maybe a good 
a good end of this would be that he doesn't get turned into a fiend. He doesn't get that far, I guess. I guess you could argue that it would be more just if he was brought to some sort of trial for his crimes instead of just killed immediately. Uh, you know, in sort of, in a way, sort of unrelated to the way that he's failed as a leader. So I could see them being like, well, in this one, Balto doesn't die because Vilio's there. He just like, gets arrested or something. And then like, that's ultimately better because they give him a trial and then, and then execute him, you know? Except they won't execute him because it's this game. They'll like put him in the dungeons forever or whatever. Maze dungeon. But if he does make it all the way to turning into a fiend, then Vilio will eat him. Would that be fucked up or what? What if he eats Balto in front of everybody? Like, in the middle of, you know, like, it, uh, the same sort of thing that happened. Do you happened. think that he'd immediately, like, all his hair would turn black if he ate one Balto? Yeah, I do. I do think so. Do you think that would happen if he ate any of today's politicians? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, of course. Not to get political. Even worse things would happen to him if he ate any of today's politicians. Right. His, I'm sorry for the joke I'm about to make, but I have to say it. Um, his hair might even turn orange. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> speaking, speaking of speaking of uh, eating too many snacks before dinner, you're about to <laughs> freaking Cheeto. <laughs> Joke that we all hate. Hmm. Boy, is a suspiciously balter shaped Vilio. <laughs> uh, could oh, need no. another bite. Oh no. Oh, Hito Yoshidana. Oh, we were having this conversation. That was the one where we were like, yeah, we trust you. Hmm. <laughs> No matter what. Oh, we get the Balto truth. Yeah! <gasps> the Balto truth. sees kids playing fucking hoop stick and he's like oh gotta get in on <laughs> oh, that wish that was me uncle balto's treachery also a great screen name <laughs> really good for people who have no context about this game and are like the dog yeah like they say dogs are on the Joho Yatoste, Kakucho, ten ten to stata. Is the Yatsuno Akusino Shoko Tsukami? Touch about Hakadatsuru Kikayo, Ukagai Nagara. Na. This is very true of us as well. We've never wanted to denounce Balto more. <laughs> yeah, so true. Was by shooting him with a gun. Oh, he doesn't want to be 
強人事件の犯人がバルトだと特定できる証拠を得ること。It's interesting too because thinking about it now, it's like we're learning about this in this route, but like we as characters can't learn anything in Kalida because everything going on in Kalida is all like end game revelation. Like, we can't know about any of the Roddy stuff because that is super sick, right? But, I guess we'll learn later. Right, but it's just like, it's interesting seeing, like, oh, this big revelation comes out because, again, we're kind of doing everyone's route, but there isn't really anything in Kalita to do, at least for now.、Mm -hmm. That's outside of the normal stuff we do. I forgot about us fucking crashing the forum. Yeah. This is all so that we can set up everyone telling everyone else something funny happened on the way to the forum. Yes! I was, I was, I was thinking that.、Thank、I was、you. thinking that. This is fucking. Oh, what's the. What's the term for this? When you're、For、just like、what? out in public and a flash mob, we're just flash mobs. Oh! The <laughs> Remember flash mobs? Remember improv everywhere? Of course! We were in college then. I remember being in college and flash mobs being like a whole thing and thinking, like, oh god,、yeah. am I gonna be walking around campus and there's a flash mob suddenly? It's been a number of years, but I. I feel like it was not too long ago I checked in on Improv Everywhere. They're still doing stuff. Oh? It's still not Improv either. No, I'm a dragon. It's more cool. Yeah, I'm shocked that Improv Everywhere still does stuff. That seems like the sort of thing that would have died out, you know? Kind of like Epic Mealtime. Hmm. No, I think they, a... they quit recently, didn't they, or something? I don't know. I remember when that was a cultural touchstone? <laughs> I do remember that. Remember Doug? We're really. We're, <laughs> shut up! We're really <laughs> reaching this. The, we, and I'm, not, I'm not emotionally prepared to do this right now. <laughs> I'm not emotionally prepared to think about Doug. <laughs> Lord Balto. I'm glad that、um, Zephora is still right in this. And, like, you know, Vilio's like, oh, you should really think about it this way. And, and Zephora's like, you think I fucking didn't already think of it that way, you idiot? <laughs> It's not that simple, okay? All right, like, it, good. I'm glad. It would be weird if Sephora, like, learned something from Vilio, other than Vilio obviously encouraging、yeah. him to ask others for help. <laughs> The other children aren't going because I said so. Okay, mom. <laughs> Anyways, all we need to do is fucking be like, more like bald Lordo or whatever. Oh my god, yeah, call him bald. Him. Yeah, Lord Baldo. He wouldn't be able to handle it, I don't think. Right, I think that that would be so funny that everyone would immediately want to go to our show. Now is not the time for following. So true. And then he flies away with the child. <laughs> I am kidnapping a girl. If you want her back, come to our circus show. <laughs> Since it's Vilio, though, the kid's like, yay! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like if kidnapping was epic. <laughs> This kicks ass. Vilio's an activist. That's all I'm going to say here. Yeah, well, she is going. So we're just setting up a tautology. Yeah, 
We're, all, we're also teaching them to fucking not listen to their parents, which, you know. Yes! There's a there's a there's an up and down to that. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's make them discontent. to his advantage. Let's go. Wow. Oh, and we got some fanfic language right at the end. Just a little, a little taste. Wait, what? Calling him the redhead. Uh oh. Well, it's because he got red hair. I mean, yeah, that's usually why people call people that. But I mean, not all the time. So angry. <laughs> Don't, don't uh, let these people have fun. This was such a good bit when Ginny was uh, like, um, I work for the king, asshole. Yeah, uh, actually, we're above you. You should listen to us instead. We're so epic. Also, Sid says we need the Yoshi's stream. Let's, let's get that back. You know, I love doing. Yes. Yeah. Wow, he's. T it's it's like hearing Sonic say Robotnik's line. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's just like Sonic Adventure Two. Yes. That's the sound I say when I pick up a chow. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. We know, we know. <laughs> Damn. Let's just call out the people who fucking got yeah. owned. Okay. It was it was like how Calvin Klein's obsession a a attracts like large cats. What? Yeah. You heard about this? No. This is this is old. This is old news. Calvin Klein obsession. Um what is it what did it use in particular? Like um バルト国立民。Cheetahs, jaguars, all big cats, okay. Okay. Yeah, other big them? cats. They just they like the smell it attracts them in the wild from like kilometers away. Hmm. Have been climbed this? Is? Uh, no, scientists used this fragrance after observing it in captivity in the wild. Okay. And it it uh, it lures big cats from from a long distances. Okay. So don't wear Calvin Klein's Obsession for Men if you go to the. Oh, zoo. the perfume. I see. Yes. I, I was like, Calvin Klein like clothes? Like that's fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, the perfume. That's that's called obsession. Yes. Okay. That's fucked up. Don't do that. Yeah, it is. Get the get the Dr. Pepper coconut creamer uh <laughs> scent instead. Yeah. Basically our only choice was to finish our trip and shoot Balto. Yeah, there we go. Dr. Pepper coconut cream seems like it would attract a different animal. Like maybe monkeys right. would would come up to you. だからその繋がりを俺たちが作っちまえばいいんだ。Alright, I gotta, I gotta be right back. Um, right. but I right, pause. I think, no, I think I, we already know what happens in this part. Yeah, I'll pause so. if we get some more video content. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll be a big deal. I just, I just have to go. I'm like blowing my nose a lot off camera, and I'm just mm -hmm. gonna go get some nasal spray. Sounds good. 
nasal spray? It's Dr. Pepper. This is not medical advice. Do not spray Dr. Pepper into your nose <laughs> if, you, if you've got, got issues. I love delivering a performance. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We're so fucking back. とはにせーの物語。一人でいる方が気楽だし、自由だ。人と共になんてまっぴらごめんだね。Yeah! <laughs> Let's fucking go! You love to see it. You love to see it. You know, you say don't spray Dr. Pepper up your nose, but the X Clear congestion alleviating nasal spray does contain xylitol, which is, uh, <laughs> which is an artificial sugar. Okay. I'll put it in one of those five minute crafts videos that you should uh, use Dr. <laughs> Pepper as nasal spray. Oh, I didn't miss Sephora being hot for one CG. Yeah, don't worry. Beautiful. Mario, <laughs> The clown with the deep V. みんなの力があれば世界は明るく照らせるはずだせーの You would think in order to have sleeves like that, he would have to be wearing a shirt that would show underneath the vest instead of the deep V, but I don't know, maybe it's just sleeves. I think those, I think it's just, those are the sleeves on the vest. Oh, maybe they're just sleeves though. Yeah, like, you know, you got like the long glove kind of thing. Maybe it's something like that. Mm -hmm. He's got, I mean, he's got like a little thing to cover it. So we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> All we have to do is censor Balto. <laughs> Hooray! We've done it again. Folks, you love to see it. That's right, we've basically given them a coded message for insurrection against mm. Balto. <laughs> That's the power of community. That's right. なんだよ、その地止めは。いやいやいや、違う違う。Yeah, 
前回はたまたま酔ってるところを見られたから心配かけちまったけど、oh、そう簡単にどうにかなるほど弱くないから安心してくれよ。Oh. 心配か。なんか人に心配されるのって。Yeah, God, ちょっとムズムズする。<笑> Given that he was born, he was literally born different. He was built different. He can eat a fiend. Shin Pai Ste Crete Arigatona. So no Kimachi. Chanto Ketotoke. Te Kotode. Genia no Toko it tegre. So Chimo Chanto Nero. この町の人たちは誰かとつながることで安心できるんだよなだからそのつながりを俺たちが作っちまえばいいんだうんおいはおい This is an interesting version of this too, because this is definitely Vilio in a more active role, which means we have to even consider this, right? Mm hmm. But that's because we know what Vilio is actually doing, which is eating fiends. Yeah. So. Oh shit. We're doing our check in. Mm -hmm. Probably. That's a, what a succinct way of talking about this, too. Ah. Do you have a name? I'm not a name. I'm not a name. I'm not a name. I'm not a name. I feel like the king should be able to do more about this. Right? Like, I know that, like, culture is, like, sort of independent, right? Because they have their own different ruler, right? The king's got to be able to do something. It's still under his jurisdiction. I mean, I'm, if what they're saying is true and like Kultura has literally never gone against the king before, then I could understand being like, well, there's not a, like an existing process no in place. Yeah. Since Manol Balto is going to be the boss fight in one of my like fucked up, like a fucked up like Disney Pixar. No, it's a DreamWorks, right? It's a DreamWorks. It'd be a DreamWorks Souls game. Hmm. Just like tainted Shrek. <laughs> Whoa! He's twisted. <laughs> uh, boss fight against Donkey. Ranty. Nothing's different. <laughs> now I run from you. <laughs> I'm also in this call. It's a it's a conference call. <laughs> oh, this is the setup because they have to do the investigation, which is like then the king's like, yeah, I, we're gonna strip your powers. Here's a race, shoot him. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, Balto is part of its own. Animation studios, not under one of the big ones. Hmm. Yeah, I 
だったら、うちのサーカスに。ザフォラに任せてみねえか。ファイクアニメーションスタジオ、バットを否認するため、迷宮森を封じる異例図の貸し出しを王に願い出るつもりだったらしい。因縁もあるし、王様が直接動くよ
probably hate him. I feel like they ha <laughs> Yeah, I mean... I, <laughs> I think I guess... they're probably... I think they probably have a special slur just for the people that live in right. Orient. Right, like, I guess that's the thing, right? So they're all the same continent, right? There's only one continent, so there really aren't, like... Wait, like... Doesn't feel like they're like races in that sense, right? They're like magical. The creatures. main divide is is between yeah humans and fae. Humans and fae, right? So I guess it's yeah. I guess it wouldn't be like right, but they are like prejudiced against these people, right? Mm -hmm, like culturally. Mm -hmm. I think so. But I assume they hate them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> they invented a slur for clowns. Genia was Kurutora de Mosoite, Miyagemono Kaikonde Takimasuruma. Sukayo, Tochakusta Shonichkara, Ikinari Miyagi Kaono Motonanda. Okay, Boya has done the research, which I appreciate. Looks like Emblemation Animation was absorbed by and effectively became DreamWorks Animation after Balto Bomb. So I'm still right, and when we do the DreamWorks Souls mm. game, we can have Balto be one of the boss fights. He can be the um, Blood Starved Beast equivalent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is the Blood Starved Beast is a dog, right? I don't know anything about anything. Yeah. Okay. I mean, in in the way that many things are dogs, I think it's closer to being a dog than it is to a lot of other like a things man, being sure. a dog yeah. that we call dogs in video games. Yeah. This is Vicar Amelia is a dog, but Vicar Amelia could be the big bad wolf from Shrek. Mm. I'm just making Shrek souls, actually. You just you're just free associating characters, and that's fine. Yeah. You know, you, but you should make a like a Twitter thread about it or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll put my design doc out there, and um, FromSoft will hire me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Do you think... So, right, so you're not allowed to, like, have people visit Dragon Island. Do you think you're allowed to bring stuff back? Oh, like like a sort of uh, like a like a resale sort of markup situation, like no, some pirate no, Joes. I, no, but like you know how like people get cursed if they go to Dragon Island. Mm -hmm. Do you think like the the same magic like forcefully ejects like an object from your bag if mm. it's if it recognizes it's from the outside? Um. I guess it depends what it is. It's hard to imagine just like any object from the outside being rejected. Yeah. Yeah. Like you got a bag of chips. Right. Like if they're yeah. chips that are also in Dragonsville, is that bad? Maybe they maybe they don't get ejected, but they like turn to dust or something. Maybe. They definitely have laws against in like customs for getting rid of batteries, though. Mm -hmm. See, this is why Roddy might be higher than Zephora. This is why he's dependable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zephora, I mean, Zephora did learn how to buy presents, but he doesn't have, like, a track record yeah. until our route with him. I wonder, I wonder why Spiria, uh, never, never was in it. Didn't she say, is, um, that she was in a relationship, but her, like, her husband died or something? I may have been something like that. So <laughs> Lakrima, Mizuno Dai Sede, Rebega, Machino Tamini, Nokosti, Tashina to Yuaretu. 
It feels, it feels weird for an Otome game to just leave her as like a nebulously single older woman. There's gotta yeah. be something It's always else like, oh, it's there. a mom with the, the dad out of the picture for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it's similar. I've never had children. I just wish I just wish there was a another another character in this for for Spirit to fall in love with by right. you know in it's the Jenny. true end. No, Vinny and Alice are already in a, a situation. What if we were King Vagonia? <gasps> That's true. Where, the, where's the queen? I guess the queen is also dead. Do they reference a queen? I feel like there might be a part where they reference that a queen exists, but maybe the queen's dead. Otherwise, she'd be there. She'd be there to see her baby boy. She would be there, and she'd have a name, right? Yeah. There she'd would, be like, no oh, oh my god, my baby boy Colobus. The queen did not have one, yeah. <laughs> Die, Roddy. <laughs> he already did. Come on. Come on, Tefalia. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of queens! <laughs> what if I'm never allowed back in here because of an incident I caused? <laughs> テーバンだけど素敵じゃない。私も一緒に選んであげるわ。どれが気になってるの？却下ね。ラクリマのレプリカはね、装飾に添える石の種類によって叶う願いが変わってくるの。今あなたが選んだのはシトリン、金関連に
cromulent crust fuckable of a oh of an my god Jenny and me drinky enough enough <laughs> i'm quitting the stream no, this is it that. i'm really gonna do it this time no, you can't do it <laughs> why i oughta so did you hana she not to the I love that they're like just sussing out how much each knows. This one feels a little too direct, but it's like, yes, I do know. Oh my god. Junior's job is so hard. Yeah, pretending he's stupid. No one no one struggles as much as my poor boy Junior. The only person who struggles more is the is Lilia, who has to deal with adult Who's male tummy aches. aches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to get like a little a little like stuffed plushie yeah. of Jinnia. I need to look on Etsy that for Jinnia plushies. Oh, yeah. That's so fucked up. In one of the epilogues, they talk about how Vilio is traveling the world. This is what mm -hmm. he's doing during that, right? Is he's literally just eating fiends. Now we know. Yeah. Oh, my God. Honto,馬鹿な子よ。使命か運命か知らないけど、身も知らぬ人間たちを救うため、茨の道を選ぶなんて。だってそうでしょ。これだけ魔物が増えてきたのは世界の人々がそれだけ勝手な不平不満ばかり抱えてるから。クロリスが魚くなったのは人々が幸せにどん欲になったから。そんな自業自得な連中のために一人傷つくな
だけど私たちがいくら頑張っても旅をして回る範囲には限度があるし効果もどれだけあるかわからないわだからマスタードラゴンは規格外ってことなのよ何しろ形のない負の感情をまとめて浄化しちゃえるんだから Very true So correct そうねあの子はいつでも何をするにも全力投球だものまあそこがあの子の強みであり<笑>弱みだと思うけどねいくら強くたって本当の意味で一人で何でもできる人なんていやしないわもっと自信を持ちなさいな。I feel like Jinia、oh、is... 28. たぶんあなたが思うのは、と、oh, maybe. あなたがビリオにとって重要な存在だと。Because everyone else in this is 18 years old, so like. Well, it's like 18 to 20 or something. Oh, right. Oldest yeah, boy's they're. Like 21, I think? Yeah, yeah, Eon was older. Yeah. 22, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Jinia is like. Jinia is. Maybe Jinia is like 29 and a half. He's really fucking feeling it, you know? Jinia is、uh, an elder millennial getting really mad at the young millennials. Elder millennials are in their early 40s. Oh, are they? Yeah. Slow Beef is an elder millennial. Okay. Well, no, he's the, sorry, he's the fantasy equivalent of an elder millennial. Remember, the generations <laughs> are much faster in fantasy. This takes place in the past, yeah. Yeah, because they live till the past. <gasps> Oh. I mean, we're only in chapter three. I don't know if we can make a distinction. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like she. she... Finally, I feel like that's true that she doesn't know that it's not clear. Right. Right. <laughs> He will die. So, so when Leon、oh, does it. Oh, now you care. Yeah. When Roddy does it. <laughs> she's, she's got an inkling. She's like, oh no, I, I think I could fall in love with him. I'm good. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 Okay. Oh, you are a cool guy. We'll call it at the end of this night, I think. Yeah. I'm glad Tefalia has, has、uh, such an active support network. Yeah. You know, like every, people always talk, in the, somebody is always talking to her about like, how she feels and offering her support. What's going on, yeah? Oh no. There's one, if there's one thing comparable to the adult male tummy ache,、mm -hmm. when a guy gets a little eepy. <laughs> Many challenges out there. Okay, well, if we give him to this, it's not going to be for love. It's going to ward off the evil. Yeah, it's because we're friends. We're best、yeah. friends. That's different. We're besties, do.
You should give it to him now anyways. Well, he's also going through it where he's like, I'll never love, so I think it's fine. Yeah. You and he's like, I don't want her denial. to get the wrong impression. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what if you were both in denial? I think that would rule. Yeah, love when that happens in a relationship. Yeah, and in real life. Still no fun video pictures. Yeah. So what did we learn? <laughs> what did we learn? That's a great question. I can't believe we're just still not getting CGs of this boy. There's gonna be so many. Like we've gotten so we've gotten no oh, almost wait. none new ones. We got this one. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, we get right. this. So what did we learn? So we learned that Vilio's mission as the Arch Dragon, which is the most specialist dragon, one yeah. one in a one in a thousand years, basically. Is to eat and digest and purify fiends. Right, it's to pur purify fiends, which requires him to devour them and consume them and go through his system. I um, guess so. Which also causes him to absorb a lot of negative energy to the point that it literally changes his hair color. Yeah. Temporarily. Um, we also learned that he's got a lot of death flags about his mission, which... Again, I don't know if it necessarily means he has to die, but certainly he's going to have to risk his life or get to an equivalent position. Yeah, I mean, do you feel like they're beating around the bush about it because we're supposed to think that he's going to die, yes. but it's really something else? I think we're supposed to expect that he's going to die, and I think he expects that he's going to die. Hmm, yeah. Um, or at least that the potential's there, right? He understands the risks. Because uh, the rest of the dragons and people won't shut the fuck up about it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that that's kind of the vibe they're going for, is they want to push the idea that he could die, and that's why it's like, oh, don't fall in love with him. You know? Um, I don't know if I'll ever experience love. That kind of stuff. Um, do we ever learn anything else new about him? No, but he's taking a more active role in, like, the Zephora stuff. Like... He's, at, he's telling the king, like, hey, let Zephora handle this. It'll help keep the community together, right? Like, he's taking a more active role in, like, hey, understand that this is what these people are doing. Like, he seems to be more in tune with the nature of the people on this, uh, on this continent, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he's sort of understanding the nature of these people such that he can give this advice and he can understand, like, who these kinds of people are, again, for his sacrifice, which is what he set up earlier, right? He's like, who am I doing this for? And now he knows, like, oh, you know, in Cultura specifically, it's about people working together, right? They all work as a team. They don't do things unless other people do. I gotta be, I gotta be honest, folks. After this stream, Avilio's position in, in the world and as a character is getting a little too Christ-like for me. <laughs> a little uh, too... Look, I said it at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, like, I I mean, it was a little Christ, like, in the beginning, you know, obviously, but, like, this is really, this we'll is really see. doing it. We'll he's, see. He's going to absorb the negative energy, and, like, he's going to see all of mankind's sins for all of time, and then forgive them anyway, therefore purifying, like, absolving mankind of, of sin and dying for it. Well, like, I think that's what happened with the original Arch Dragon. The original Arch Dragon... <laughs> seems like yeah exactly set off what did the art original one do it seems like he said it sounds like the concept is basically that they're gonna set off like a fiend nuke that just kills them all thanks to the I power guess. of positive thinking um i guess we'll, we'll find have, out we'll have to get more info because again it's made from negative emotions so it seems like it's bringing positive emotions rather it's not like it's not necessarily sin Right, but it is the individualism of man. It is it is the lack of community. It's just, you know, the vibes. Oh, also, yeah, interesting no, in sure. this that the webbing in his wings is white in yeah. this shot. Which instead let's of just, red? Let's get a let's get a let's get a No, maybe it's always been white. Is it always white? Yeah, it's, it's always, always, always white. Been white. I don't like the design of this dragon. I mean, it's fine, but it's mid to me compared to like when this is like the boy you're supposed to date like the dragon's not if, even hot if the implication of he was more of a demon i think i could roll with this a bit more but this is just what dragons look like 
I think they could have made the dragon way hotter. Well, I think that that's not the part you're supposed to be attracted to. I, my, my point stands. Sure. But it is true. I mean, like, the, the animals that the fake creatures turn into are generally not. They're like, just, like Leon turns animals. into a wolf, and, like, that could also be hot, but, like, the sort of pose and angle on the wolf are just yeah, sort it's of, very like, cartoon not. Yeah, wolf. Just um, kind of meh. Roddy is, a, like, a Pomeranian. At least Roddy's, like, in a really, like, dynamic pose, and it's, yeah. like, he's obviously really cute, and so it, like, elicits an emotion Fear rather than just, like... Yeah, Firo is a, is a peanut nut and the most That's precious so creature on God's earth. <laughs> Can we see him? Can we see him again? Yes. Oh, creation of Adam. There he is. Little baby boy. Little baby. Little baby. Uh, Sid says maybe this is a setup for him turning extremely badass when he reaches full power. Oh, that's true. Also, honestly, it might be that dragons mm -hmm. don't look like this, but the arch dragon does specifically. <laughs> we don't actually have a frame of reference, so. Yeah, I just, I feel like, I just, I, I don't know. I, I just wish he had more design to him. Sure. Instead of, like, the first thing you think of. Yeah, I, I I like what they're doing with Vilio's route and Vilio in general. I think that the way that they're doing the summary gets to all of the highlighted points, but doesn't feel like you're just playing through the, the main route again, which clearly they're not. Because yeah. it, this appears to be basically like a nine chapter route of just him, you know, versus... Yeah. Um, which is good. Versus the other ones where it's like there's more of a common route. This one's like, again, common route with bonus, which is appreciated when you're doing a fifth playthrough and like clearly this is its own thing. Yeah, we already we already have played through it so many times. We all know the sequence we know what's of going events. On. And it, yeah, I, I really like that it's uh, taking this approach. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is good. I'm excited to see what more of it is. Like clearly they're not trying to put too much on you but like Jinian knowing and his like kind of ominous uh discussion with hmm. um the folly is good i think the Jinia king stuff is cool because again he's clearly got this bigger connection to what's going on with the fiends um mm -hmm. i don't know there's a lot of cool pieces and i'm excited to see how they're put together agreed and how it's gonna come back to everyone else's story because again these stories are being set up in such a way that they must get resolved in some way, and I wonder if it's going to be a bigger experience than the others where it's like, uh, you know, they get to the, the epilogue chapter and it's like, well, things are going okay for everyone, right? Like, is this one, like, more active? Mm-hmm. I'm excited uh, to see. I think we're going to see a satisfying ending to everybody's route in this. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah. Which means we got to kill Balto. Again, that will but make it at least in a top three route. Right. But will what happens to Vilio be satisfying or will it be existentially fucked? Only uh, one way I think to find it can be out. Both. It, can, it could be both. Or or he could turn into a cafe. Yeah. What? It, to follow you, what do you think would happen if he turned into a cafe? <laughs> it's hard for her to imagine. Yeah. All right, but... That's everything for tonight. Until next week, where we continue Vilio's routes. Going on, we probably make it to Ferris. Have a terrible yeah. time there. Oh God, yeah. All right, but until then, I've been Chorps Away. I've been Devious Vacuum. And this has been Date Night. And you are the stars. Sweet dreams. And Games Cameron.